Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is well and happy and had good things, stuff and things. <laughs> Better than you were yesterday. Well, that's that's always good. Oh, Jeff Harbaugh was here, and Patrick is still here, and Grace Snake. And hey, Happy Fox, how are you? Good work day, yes. Well, good work day is always plus. I thought we were going to be playing Bard's Tale today, but as you can see, that's not the case. Hey, Gilfoil, how are you? I had something. No, it got here. I just gotta figure out how to stream it now. <laughs> I didn't have the cord that I thought I had, so I have to get the cord. But no, it's here. It's totally here. I've just gotta get the, uh, the, the right cord. Because it's a PS2 game. But yeah, it's totally here. But on a cool side, I got something else really cool in the mail today that I wanted to show off to some of y'all animal lovers. So some of y'all remember um, a couple of months ago, I was talking about one of our cats passed away. Well, unbeknownst to us, our local, our veterinarian, um, whenever they, um, the cat passed away because of hypothermia, he got left out, well, it's not that we left him outside, we just couldn't find him, and he was outside for too long and he got hypothermia and we just never could get him warm again. Well, we took him to the vet, and, um, me turn this down real quick we took him to the vet and um, they were trying to give him warm IV fluids to warm him up from the inside and it just never did really worked but they uh, they had to shave off some of his, the fur on his leg and they they save it in one of these little bags well whenever they have an animal that passes away in their care there's a lady that uh, uh, comes in and she took uh, his fur and she made it into this little uh, keepsake. And that this right here, this little uh, ball right here is actually blown glass that she takes the fur and uh, uses to make that little, that little drop right there. We had no idea that they even did that. But yeah, it's it, technically, I think it's a bookmark, but I'm gonna hang it on my Christmas tree. But yeah, I looked up the lady's uh, um, website and uh, it's $45 for her to do that. And uh, the, the, uh, the vet hospital paid for it for us and just had, it, had her send it to us. So it came in a nice little box and everything. I thought that was pretty spiffy. I wanted to share that. Yeah, small town veterinary hospital. Okay, so now we can turn the game back up just a little bit. I don't want, let me know if that's too loud. I don't want it competing with me. I've been trying to work on my my sound controls and like I know I talk really really loud and I don't mean to it's just it's honestly how I talk so I'm trying to be more self-conscious about talking so loud so let me know I don't want to be competing with the game but I don't want the game competing with me either
Okay. Game could come down. Okay. Well, I can... Honestly, I could probably come down just a little bit because even just talking like this, I am hitting yellow. I mean, I have my compression and everything set up. So, or I, sh I did set it up. So, if I get too loud, I shouldn't blow anybody's ears out, but... <laughs> I, I wrote it down like a decibel and a half. So let me know how that is. Like, I know I don't sit like right up on the microphone or anything like that. But, I mean, it's a pretty sensitive mic, so. It sh hey, Scruff! How are you? That's the one we want. You think it's a good balance? Okay. But yeah, other than that, I mean, like, I had, um, I had a friend of mine message me some rather irritating news. Um, but yeah, getting that in the mail and then also getting my game that kind of that definitely kind of brightened my day oh you have me all the way up oh, okay cool well should i should i turn my volume up so that you can turn it turn the volume down my fault oh fireworks going off in bonfires <laughs> wow hey joe how is how are you i am planning on doing stuff and things that's the plan also i got got my new game in so we'll get hopefully we'll get to start this this week i've just got to get the the right cord so that i can stream my um um my ps2 <laughs> yeah i know isn't it awesome that scruff is here okay sorry ami sorry we need to now that we have the tablet we need to head back to the palace And Scruff, I, I had a decent day. I got some some kind of unfortunate news from a friend of mine. But then I had something really unexpected happen that kind of brightened my day. Um, I don't think I, I think I didn't have the right thing for that. I'm going to bloom the tree with my potato circles. And on a side note, I looked up where we're at in the game. We still have so much game to do. Honestly, I might honestly have to take another break from this game. 1.21 gigawatts. For the flux capacitor. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Drawing happy trees with happy friends. Okay, let's let's quit with the whole pot thing. Like that's not even a command here. And probably won't be just because y'all won't quit. Back to the future games. I love those movies. I love those movies so much. Yeah, I had an Atari. 
That's one of the first uh, uh, systems I remember playing on. No worries, Scruff. It's just awesome to have you here. I don't care. I'm finishing it. Now y'all gonna act like children. I'm gonna treat you like such. First system you had? Yeah, I remember the first game I honestly remember playing was Pole Position on the old Atari. But now, so I get a message from my friend today and, uh, my um this particular friend is an honest to god farmer that's what he's done his entire life it's what his daddy did it's what his granddaddy did it's what his great granddaddy did like he comes from a long line of farmers um and his message <laughs> His message was literally just a picture. And um, I was like, okay. And I started looking at the picture. Um, and my friend, like he alternates uh, growing corn and soybeans and cotton and then tobacco on the side. But... Um, The picture, someone had went, ooh, I see a chest, I see a chest. I just keep, I haven't explored over here. Um, the picture was someone had went off into his field and hung about this big, about this box that they had welded together of rebarb and hung on one of his corn stalks. He found three of them in his entire field. And their purpose is, is as he's coming through with his big machinery that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. That rebarb would get up in his harvester and destroy it. And supposedly, this was in protest of big business and anti-GMOs. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Gilf. The problem is, is that he doesn't use big business seed. He buys all of his seed local and reuses seed from last from the years prior if you if you're big business you have to uh, if you're using big bits business seed you have to display um, their their signs and everything so yeah and um, what makes it even better is is Lots of farmers in Tennessee, they get to enjoy um, what, like you, have you, have, I'm sure y'all probably heard the term second harvest. Um, basically what that is for those who don't, don't know. Um, whenever you, even if you, he was growing big business seed Basically, that farmer um, buys his seed with his own money. He doesn't get any money back on that on his purchase until he takes his harvest in and it is weighed and measured, and then he receives reimbursement 
from that big business company. Now, because of the way harvesters and everything harvest the crop, a lot of seed is spilt. Um, and so it gets reseeded, the entire field effectively gets reseeded. Well, if you have a long enough growing season like you do in Tennessee, um, farmers right about now are enjoying what's called a second harvest. And everything that has grown in their field from the, the spillage and such from the first harvest is theirs to keep. They get, you know, they get to keep all the profits from this second harvest that comes in. Because they've already paid, hopefully, their debt to the big business seed companies. Yeah, the, um, the rebarb was found on a second harvest crop. Even if he was using big business seed, they didn't hurt anybody but him. They weren't going to hurt anybody but him. Taking food off of his table and out of his kid's mouth. Hey, Slater Man. So yeah, that was... That was my irritating news today. Well, I guess I can't bloom that one. Well, da gosh darn it. Yeah, it was... Luckily, he... Was, he seen it. Because the, uh, the people who did it... Um... Like, he was on the lookout because it had happened to other people in the area. So he was on the lookout for it. But yeah, it was. It was. So yeah, it was nice whenever my game came in. How was that wind? How was that wind? It was a potato circle. Oh yeah, corn whenever, um, originally was like, the, was like wheat is what it looked like. Oh yeah, in, in the United States, they were on private property. That was his field. He, he owned that field. Now, if he was leasing the field, that would have been different, but that was actually his family's land. Because a lot of farmers around here, they lease land. So uh, they'll go to somebody who has a large acreage and they'll lease the land and then they'll, oh, they'll plant a crop on it. But yeah, like I said, that was that was the dumb news of the day. I thought it was was funny that uh, he just happened to find it on election election day. Um, so long story short, a buddy of mine found um who is an honest to god farmer. His whole family's farm for a lot of years. Um, found evidence where protesters, GMO 
and big business protesters were trying to sabotage his farm equipment. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of farm equipment they were trying to destroy. Um, my new game came in. I've just got to get the, the cord so I can stream my PS2. Um, and my local vet um, had a really nice piece of memory jewelry made for my family and I. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll take it out. Um, whenever our cat passed away in their care, um, they saved some of the fur that they had to shave off of his arm so they could give him an IV. And a, a lady made... I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be. I'm going to put it on my Christmas tree. But that little drop right there has its blown glass and she uh, um, uh, mixed it. You know, his fur is actually in, like not in a bubble, like it's actually made into the glass. So it's a little memory keepsake. <coughs> So mostly that's my news for today. Yeah, and I went on the, the lady's site and it's like a $45 piece um, that the, um, the, the, the local vet hospital um, footed the bill for and had made for us. And then she just sent it to us. We didn't, didn't have any idea that they had done that. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. I, I was um, not gonna lie. I kind of uh, like it. Kind of touched me. I was like, oh. Okay, what's this? We obtained holy artifact. Um. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> A pool of lavas. The last thing I expected in in the palace. Well, we've already been here once. You may be a god now, but you'd end up a crispy critter if you fell in this stuff. Ball like a baby. Aw, that's pretty cool. Um, do you have my my ashes turned into diamonds? <laughs> or what's that one? That there's like some new. I don't know if it's a fad or what, but uh, it came across one of my feeds, um, like a year or so ago, where you could have your body turned into a root ball for a tree and you're like literally buried underneath the tree as the tree is planted and so like then you like become part of the tree as the tree grows because it like literally feeds on you i mean scientifically i mean it's not i mean it's not necessarily scientifically wrong because um, the Native Americans used to do that with uh, fish heads and carcasses um, underneath corn plants. About five feet away. <laughs> Get a haunted forest. <laughs> Um, did Himiko, <clears throat> did Himiko think this could stop the great Amaterasu? 
why don't you just equip that thing you got? That Himiko sure making things difficult. She must really have a good reason for wanting to keep people away. I mean, the queen has her palace and the king has his palace. Maybe she's trying to keep the king away. Maybe it was one of those arranged marriages things where she doesn't want him around. <laughs> I mean, nothing says don't touch me like lava. Let's keep going, Ami, but be careful. Um. <laughs> it's an army of whomping willows. Right there. Oh, okay, holy artifacts. Okay. Holy diver. Medical research, if they need it. Wait a minute. Is it hurting me? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, sweet. Being cremated and ashes scattered. That's actually illegal to do in the States now, is scatter someone's ashes. It's considered unsanitary. <laughs> what? It's a good song. Holy diver, been down too long in the midnight sea. What's becoming of me? Well, I'm just saying, like, it's in the States, it's considered unsanitary. Like, if they catch you doing it, it's... You can actually get in trouble for it. <sighs> hey, Ami! I bet that's Himiko. Looks like that freaky shut-in is praying or something. <sighs> why, why, why? <laughs> the security here was pretty tight, but nothing we couldn't handle. Yeah. You tell her, Ami. Okay, so what kind of voice do we need for this? Maybe, we'll see. Do we know, who was it? Was it Matt that said that every time he's heard of uh, Himiko? Is it like Persona? Um, it is a, a like it's an action RPG, but it's not and it's really long. But hey, MT, how are you? Benevolent, Almatoros. I have been waiting for you. And is soon the traveling artist. You too, of course. I mean, kind of. It's really long. It's an action RPG rather than, like, just your standard RPG. <laughs> In a garden with a lion. <laughs> Thank you, MT. I appreciate you. Hey, how 
did you know our names? I mean, doesn't the bad guy always know your name? Sometimes you wanna go where all the villains know your name and they're always glad you came. Anyway, first things first. You know about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't you? Didn't know his real name, but they know who he was. They knew his reputation. I mean, he goes around going, I am Batman. You've got, you've got some splaining to do. Tell you what you're, tell us what you're up to. Dots, beware the dots. Is she laughing? Oh no, she's sobbing, okay. Maybe not the bad guy? My people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. Does she have, like, power over fire or something? Like, that's never a good gift. Just saying. Almost never. Well, I mean... How's the game going? I'm not playing Bard still. I'm playing Okami. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that that was Danny Raid he was asking how the game was going <laughs> yeah <laughs> she walks away going no I wanted to hear all the dirty humor Um, it is, it's like innuendo. It's a lot, it's, it, well, it's not like innuendo. It's very much innuendo. Um, it's very much like, like Monty Python kind of stuff. <laughs> I went poking through a walkthrough last night and it's very snap, very, like, very much sass, very snark, as Monster Matt so politely put it. <laughs> We know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You must be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. Now stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag. It was a Monty Python game back in 1990. On home computers. Oh, that's cool. Takes off his glasses and he's Superman, and no one ever wonders why Clark and exactly, exactly. Is soon. Your words are very harsh. But you were right. It was rude of me to hide my face from me, or from you. It's rude. Still hiding face, still hiding face. Benevolent Amatoras, I, Himiko, the ruler of Cyan City. 
offer my most sincere apologies. That is one very large curtain. I'm just pointing that out. She has a flame on her head. Him and Prince Adam. <laughs> oh, and he's in love. Of course he is. Oi, is soon. Really? I'm still a little worried about the fact that she's like human candle. As a ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. I, Himiko, will not allow this evil to darken Cyan. Until I have located the hateful monster stronghold, Oni Island. Oh, why is why, why is he rolling around? What's this about a monster stronghold? Are you saying that's the source of your city's problems? Can't say I've ever heard of Oni Island or whatever you call it. And what do you mean you're trying to locate the island? I mean, it's an island, right? Couldn't have just floated away. Well, I mean... There's a couple of stories about floating islands, actually. <laughs> well, and then there's the whole upside down kiss thing in the first movie. And then, like, she kisses him later and she can't tell it's the same person. Like, she kisses Peter and then she, you know, later. But she kisses Spider-Man and then later she kisses Peter and she can't tell, like, same kiss. Okay, sorry. Murphy was asking me questions. Stuff and things. Okay. Really long cutscene. Lots and lots of talking. For over two hours. I mean... I mean... I mean... Yeah, not going there. Oni, I <clears throat> Oni Island is elusive. Elusive? Like, is it on the back of a turtle? Let me guess. It is. It's on the back of a turtle. Because, you know, Japanese folklore. It vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. No one knows where in the vast wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. You don't say. Still, why didn't you stay? Why did you? Yeah. They cooped up in this room all day long. I mean, what good will it do to simply pray all day in and day out? Flaming head. 
Floating ball. Flaming head floating ball. She's trying to mess with us. This is the treasured crystal ball. Looks like a floating ball. My family, the Yamatai clan, has ruled Cyan City forever. So wait a minute. Okay. Is like they called him the emperor, but is she the actual ruler? And he just married her? Like, like the whole Queen Elizabeth thing where like she's the actual ruler and Philip just married her. He married into her royal line. Well, you're very helpful, Gilfoyle. I appreciate you. This crystal ball has been passed down through the generations. Why is it floating? I can foresee the future in it. Well, that tells us a lot. It told me you were coming. And it will tell me where in the ocean Oni Island will appear next. So... Okay, you have the crystal ball that tells you where this floating island, this disappearing island is going to be. Why couldn't you have the army there whenever it appears? Or, like, somebody on the island to, like, shoot up a flare and be like, Hey, look at me! Muy interesante. You can find Oni Island in a jiffy with that thing. But why hadn't we already done it? I mean... They're clouding something. Exposing a stronghold like Oni Island demands much holy power. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. It is why I have locked myself away. Prayers are our only hope. But the spearhead of the enemy's forces may already be on its way. Heh. <laughs> That's a pretty good story, Queenie. But I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck? I'd do anything. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I knew it was going to happen. I was about to say, stay out of her clothes. Ouch! Thanks for the warning! Well, you know, queen. Be careful. You cannot approach me now. By taking this crystal ball in my hand, um, the crystal ball is still floating. A powerful magical barrier is erected to dispel my any misfortune. <laughs> like, you're an idiot. Yeah, it pretty much. Like, it was totally just the... You will be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. Um, hello? We're divine. This crystal ball ensures my safety. Even if my enemies learn of my prayers, the barrier will protect me from their attacks. So destroy the crystal ball and we destroy the barrier.
Let me fix the camera real quick. Murphy had to turn on the big light. Okay, there you go. That's a little better. Um... Now, crazy long, thank God, the crazy long cutscene over. So, Amaterasu, I entreat you once again, will you hear my request, the request of all my people? I'm listening, aren't I? The mighty water dragon now threatens the peace of the oceans. I don't know why it has suddenly turned to savagery. The water dragon is a sea god whose task is to maintain order. So through it, so though it may cause harm, we invite chaos if we try to slay it. So no killing the water dragon, dang it. In fact, without the water dragon, Oni Island is beyond our reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Quit beating around the bush and just spit it out already. The key to reaching Oni Island lies in the water dragon. Why do I feel like there's a, like, Jabba Jabba thing coming? Or we have to, like, go inside the water dragon and it's another little dungeon thing. Joy. Even if the crystal ball shows me the location of the island, the island's powerful shield will prevent us from reaching it. Lightning raid? What? Hey! We have a raid coming! Raid party. Yes! We have Ra oh, Raven Wizard. Hey, Hannah! We have Clayflower! Welcome! Man of 1005 holds. Biolithic, welcome! Ripple Wave, hey, Casey's here! Where is Lightning? I'm sure she's shutting down. <laughs> Renee is back! <laughs> welcome back, Renee! <laughs> oh, there she is! Maybe? And there's Tedrick. Hey, how are y'all doing? Oh, yes, Biolithic. This is an awesome game. It's just so long. That's my only problem with it, is it's so long. Welcome back. Welcome back to the same old place that you laughed about. Welcome back. But yes, thank you for that raid, Lightning Fair, and I appreciate you. What were you playing, honey? Oh, no worries. I, like, double lurking is not a thing. I understand, Renee. No big deal. I was just poking. <laughs> hey, thank you for that subscription. I appreciate it. You are the newest hero. So for those of you who have not met me yet, I am Seven. I am a mom of Seven. That's where the name comes from. Um, I am a self-proclaimed budget gamer because I like to get all my, my games for really, really cheap. Um, I like uh, retro games and indie games and just like little hidden gems that I can find. Um, I don't play a whole lot of the like triple A titles. Um, because I didn't get to play video games a whole lot when I was a kid, so I am enjoying going back and playing all of the, the games that I missed out on whenever I was a kid. Ooh, you just finished Mario Galaxy 2! Nice! I played... 
think it was one. It might have been two. I can't remember, honestly. And the whole around the world thing, oh, it threw me for a loop. I was, I've never gotten motion sick in my life until I played that game. Ooh, 20 like hype. Thank you guys so much. Your favorite 3D Mario game? I'm not, I have a confession. I'm not a huge Mario fan. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I love Mario 2. That is my favorite Mario of all time. In fact, it's probably one of my favorite games, but I'm not a huge Mario fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Water Dragon could break the shield with ease. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of uh, retro games, I just got the bard's tale in today so we're gonna be starting this here soon on the channel i'm super excited i want to I, I think i might try and play the galaxies again and see if i do any better because it's been like 10 years since i tried to play them but yeah the Game Boy Mario's. I never had any of the Game Boy Mario's. Like I said, Mario 2 is my favorite. And welcome back, Dragonite. It could form a bridge over the sea to the island. So you're saying that you'll reveal the location of Oni Island and the water dragon will break the barrier around it. Is that the only way to get into the enemy stronghold? But what about the water dragon? It's out of control, right? I seriously doubt it'll be happy to help us. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Captain Obvious, keeper of all things already known. That is why I must ask for your help, Amaturas. No worries, Lightning, I appreciate you being here. Your powers could calm the water dragon and get it to help us. What? What do you mean? I have no, like, calm water dragon power. Like, not a thing. I cannot leave this palace for my prayers require all my energy. And, you know, apparently keeping that flame lit on your head from, like, catching your hair on fire. You are the only one who can take on this important task. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, so much talking. So much talking. You want us to make friends with a rampaging water dragon. Well, I mean, you know, Aang did it. Like, he tamed the Yonagi and put out the fire on the village. Help us, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. Yeah, exactly. I know. I'm glad I'm not the only one that noticed that. I thought I was, you know, just being odd. Well, that's... True, he wasn't a self-obsessed insect, but he also was not a fully realized avatar at that point. Well, I do... <sighs> Your ship up. <laughs> and that is soon. Yeah, we have been introduced to the wide range of Isun's. I don't even think it's innuendo at this point. Like, he just blatantly lays it out there. <laughs> no, it's not politically correct at all, but it's funny. Like... 
we've been the the wide range of Isun's personality like he's a bully he's a womanizer he's kind of harassing at times like yeah not PC at all if my boss here says no since when are we the boss just since when when does Ami get to be the boss I mean, if we say no, we don't get to move on with the game, so... Bummer. Well, the boss has spoken. Huh? What was that, Ami? Oh, Amatoras, you are truly benevolent. So, I entrust you with this border key. Use this key to cross the border and continue into the land beyond. Okay, so we have a thing. And it is said that there is a race which controls, there's a race that controls the water dragon. I mean, it was a PS2 game. They live in the sea beyond the border in the Dragonian domain. They may have some connection with the dragon's recent behavior. <laughs> the Zoras, I mean. Please calm the water dragon and open the path to Oni Island. Okay, no more green triangle. Now look at the mess you've gotten us into, Furball. I thought, what, since, when did we go from the boss to Furball? Let's go pay the Dragonian Dominion a visit. Okay, look, I'm gonna save so that we don't have to go through all of that dialogue ever ever again I mean you're not wrong there Joe <laughs> dogs and bosses well I mean not dog wolf come on get it right Okay. But once we get out of here... That's just getting... Okay. We don't have to deal with you two. Lightning Farron. How have you been, Claire? Did you how well, okay, here's a question. I was gonna ask if you enjoyed uh Mario Galaxy 2, but I am assuming you have this is not your first time playing it. Okay. Get out of the palace area. Once we get into the city, maybe. Your se oh, it was your second time. So, like, you hadn't played it a ton. What's next on your uh, on your list, or do you have other games that you're you're already playing? Because you kind of do. Do you do like a schedule of games or do you do like I do where you just play straight through a game?
Okay, so... Where... Where do I need to go? Over here. Let's zoom out. Out. So I need to... Did I go the wrong way? Hold on. Can I go this way? Through... Oh, okay. Welcome back, Chrissy! What is this? What is this? There's a thing. I guess we... we... So what else are you playing right now, Claire? That is not what I wanted! What is it? Huh? You want to cross the border. You'll have to speak to my colleague if you do. But Queen Himiko's order ordered the border to be sealed off. I'm sorry, but I'd give up if I were you, pup. Hmm. Hey, that's a border key. A permit from Queen Himiko for crossing the border. Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon Crystal, Final Fantasy 14, and starting... <gasps> oh, that's one that I wanted to play! Oh, Mario Maker twice a week? You got a nice little rotation going on there. Mostly because my memory is crap. Whenever I start a game, I kind of play straight through it. <laughs> so unless it's like an obscenely long game like this one, like as y'all can see, we have like nearly 40 hours in this game. So I uh, I started playing it on fri on like just Fridays. And then like I'll, I kind of, I don't know, it kind of slips in whenever I don't have anything else to play until we finish it finally. Okay. But I think if I'm not mistaken, we're in the like the final section of the game. Like I took like a really long break from it because I don't know if you've played this game, Claire, but it's got like three different places where the game could end and then the story just keeps going. So, yeah. Now then, where is this Dragonian domain? No worries, Joe. I appreciate you being here. Have a good evening. I know it's late for you. Sounds, <clears throat> sounds like something... Oh, you've never played it? Hey, Stewie! How are you? Sounds like something that might be under the sea. But I'd rather not have to get wet if I could help. Well, you're riding on our head. No, whenever I, whenever I looked up this game on um, how long to beat, it said 30 to 40 hours. 
and a friend of mine who had played it and still has not finished it was like no start thinking more like 40 to 50 or plus hours hey thank you for that subscription you are the newest hero your feet are killing you oh yeah you had your isn't wasn't today your performance or did you have another rehearsal and it's <clears throat> and it's not because I'm afraid of that pesky water dragon it's just you swim so slow that you're you pr practically put me to sleep well you know what you can swim on your own oh not you again can we please get to some gameplay? Oh, the show officially starts tomorrow. Okay, sweet. Bonjour, Amateras. I trust you enjoy your little adventure through that hole. The city's air has sure cleared up thanks to you. I know like I went poking to see where we were at in like a walkthrough because I wanted to say like sh should I just push forward and try and finish the game or should I you know start something new and kind of put this one on hold for oh, a little while again and it, it said that there was like a really long um amount of dialogue and cutscenes coming and I was like joy just ignore him and maybe he'll go away come on Ami why so grumpy today didn't you notice the view I used to be one big, it used to be one big cursed zone out here. But yours truly pulled off one of those great divine interventions. He's so wonderful and humble too. What? I really wanted to wait for you too. But I couldn't stand leaving the sea in such a cursed state. Ah, uh, the sea off Ryoshima coast is back to its beautiful self. Is this what they mean by prettier than a picture, my little friend? What's that supposed to mean, pretty boy? Oh, just a little something I overheard somewhere. So, my little bouncing friend, you're a wandering artist, no? I want to see how beautiful your paintings are. Just one would be fine, pretty please? What's he up to? My art's none of your business. Why should I show you anything? You really are in a bad mood today. Well, I mean, you have that effect on people. You're not one of those imposters who claim to be an artist, but could not paint a picture if his life depended on it. Are you? What? He's poking! Oh, nothing. It is just something some old man mentioned. His grandson, who is also his apprentice, ran away from home. And he took the old man's paintings of a wood sprite with him. Do you think he might claim to have painted that masterpiece? 
I mean, there are so many unscrupulous people out there. Sometimes it is hard to spot an imposter in the wide world of art. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Now, make like a tree and get out of here. Or you can stick around if you'd rather get sliced and diced. Excuse him, what? Well, excuse me, princess. You do not have to get all unhot under the collar. <laughs> it's leave, you idiot. Make like a tree and leave. Exactly. It would appear I have struck a raw nerve, no? Well, since I have no prophecies or anything for you this time, I suppose I'll just be on my merry way. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's it's the quote from the movie. I know. I know the, those movies pretty well at this point. Au revoir, Big B. I am anytime that dude shows up, I'm just like, why? 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 We have a nose now? What's this enemy? What's he gonna do? Sneeze on us? Oh, it's another fast one. Okay, so we can do that. Slow down time. Now we've confused him. We can slice him. Sweet. Okay. <sighs> now maybe we can actually get to like doing some stuff and things. Stuff and things would be fantabulous. Okay, so. I don't. There's. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see. I see this, first of all. I see a chest. And I see a save point. So we don't have to go through any of stuff and things. Yes. There is even a command whenever Seven finally does stuff and things. Okay. Let's go ahead and save here. 40 hours. 40 hours and 9 minutes is what we have on this game. Now granted, that's 40 stream hours. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so stream hours are very different than like actually sitting down and getting to play the game. Okay. Hmm. Aha. Yes, that's a great idea. That would sell like hotcakes. A donut in the shape of Oni Island. A, a doni nut. That's a terrible idea. It'll be great. <laughs> Look, you can see Oni Island from here. 
<laughs> this is the perfect spot to sell Only Island merchandise. <laughs> Gotta make the best out of a bad deal, right? Or you'll wind up miserable. That demon-shaped island appeared out of nowhere a while ago. When the water dragon went crazy and the city got that weird fog, all that's disappeared, or all that's happened since that island turned up. Every day it looks like it's in a different place, too. There can't be a weirder sight anywhere in the world. Only island, eh? Bet it's gonna be tough getting out there. And once we get there, I bet we'll wish... We'll wish never did. I bet we'll wish never did. What are you muttering about? It's time to liven up and do some business! You on shopping duty, Pooch? Then take a look. Um, no, let's not shop right now. Okay, so there's... That is a very tall tower. That is an extremely tall... I can't even see the top of it. Smashing pots! We have waterfall... Although, I will say, like, the trees are already bloomed here. That's kind of odd, actually. Like, everywhere else I've had to bloom the trees. With my potato circles. I bloom the trees with the potato circles. Oh no, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's just water. So hold on a second. Oh, that island has a face. I'm just, just want to point that out. The island has a face. And the island is gone. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Was there something we were supposed to do with these cat statues? Don't remember. Hey, Twisted! How are you? We have gotten to an odd section of the game. Where we have a disappearing, reappearing island that has a face on it. So that's super odd. Oh, that's one of them. I know I'm working on it Patrick I'm working on it give me a s I can only do so much okay so what's this Some sort of smelter or fish smoker? 
Well, now. Ain't. Ain't? This game said ain't. It speaks my language. Hot dog! Ain't you a fine looking wolf? White as snow. Yeah, I can, uh, it's part of the, uh, the game is using, uh, the Jap- Cause the game is all about Japanese folklore. And, uh, or Japanese lore. And so, um, uh, part of my powers as a god is, is I can use, like, the Japanese brush techniques. What? What you doing in an old beach house like this, then? I ain't got nothing for you, but you can rest here if you'd like. So, like, we can... Hold on. So, like, we can use the brush and we can... We can slash things. Can we not cut the, the pot? There we go. Um, if there's fire, we can move fire. We can make, like, water spouts. Uh, we can actually slow down time for short periods. Does it have, um, I think you can use the motion controls on this one. Um, I am choosing not to. I'm using a controller. I was told that the motion controls on the Wii were a pain in the butt. Hey, you're a Shima? So you got taken by that Orcha guy, right? Yeah, it was originally, I think it was originally a PS2 game, and then it got ported to the Wii, and then this is the HD remake on the Switch. And you can also pick it up on PS4. And he took you to a castle at the bottom of the sea? If that's true, where's that Orca? Orca? Orca now, huh? Yeah, where is he now? Yeah, where is he? What are they... they... <clears throat> what are they talking about? It ain't Porka, it's Orca! He is an emissary of the dragon... of the dragon palace. Okay. And he only comes for people worthy of going there. Yeah, right. Didn't your mom teach you not to tell lies? Let's get him! Yeah! Get him! Why are they... What? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Only cowards gang up on people like that. Hey, who's that? Good timing. I'm bored of playing with him now. We call this playing? He soon's got to talk, so I can't. Apparently, I can't. I would like to. It'll get very annoying fast. Especially in a very long game. What do you think those little brats were talking about, Ami? Why don't we ask the kid? What did they mean about castle at the bottom of the sea? Well, it's where King Triton lives, of course. Duh. Hey, kid, how long you plan on staying like that? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's wrong, kid? Hey, kid. Hello, anyone home? Hello? It won't... 
Ah, there we go. Hmm. I must have dozed off. I reckon I do that a lot on the beach. He's wearing a barrel of fish. Okay. I don't know why, y'all. <clears throat> I, I can't believe I'm going to do this. <laughs> Just from the game? <laughs> well, I don't know who y'all are, but I sure appreciate you waking me up. When I ain't got the strength to go home, sometimes I nap here. You were sleeping. Ah, you really had us worried, hunched over so long like that. Like, we went from him talking and getting beaten with sticks to suddenly he's asleep. You're not sick or injured, are you? No, sir. I fit... I'm fit as a fiddle, I am. Just taking a nap on the beach is all. Oh, well, that's a relief. Anyway, what was that about a castle at the bottom of the sea? And the beautiful briny sea. Would you mind filling us in? No one ever believes me about that. There's a land under the sea here in Ryoshima. The Dragonians and Sea God live there in the Dragon Palace. Hey, that's that, 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 that's a word that Kimiko used. The Dragon Palace is an amazing place. Real purdy. Can't believe I'm doing this. I haven't been there in a dog's age, though. Dragon Palace? Land of the Dragonians? They're the ones controlling the water dragon. Himiko said so. So just how does one get down to that palace, Bucket Boy? How could... <laughs> like you <laughs> elude that water dragon and make it all the way down to the bottom of the sea <laughs> I mean The water dragon was much nicer in those days. But you can't just choose to go to the dragon palace, see? Only worthy people can go. Well, we're a god. You don't get much worthier than that. Just saying. If you're worthy, an emissary called Orca comes to get you. So, this orca dude is an emissary from the dragon. Isn't that what he just said? Is there an echo in here? And just how do you get to meet this guy anyway? Now, that's one question that ain't so easy to answer. Y'all, he said y'all. Y'all see that pier over, y over yonder? Really? <laughs> Like, let's just take all the country stereotypes and just throw them all into one character. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. That appears where I met Orca. I was looking out at the sea when he came up with the morning sun. Orca only comes if you're worthy of the dragon prowess, I, I reckon. 
a giant whale. Maybe he's a Zora. So he only comes up with the morning sun, eh? Okay, hold on. Bullhorns, I have some of those. They are hanging on my wall. Okay. So let's do this. Let's make it night. Oh, 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 oh. There's the there's there, there's the face. The 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 island with the face. Okay, we're on the pier. Now, let's make it daytime. Oh, no, he was a whale. Snake called it. Something's coming. Snake totally called it. Why does this big fish look so happy? It's kind of creepy. Creeping me out. Oh! Orca! Orca, it's you! It's been a dog's age. I stopped counting the years. Did you come to take me back to the Dragon Palace? <laughs> well... <laughs> Orca? This is the emissary... This is that emissary or whatever of the Dragonians? Almost looks like Echo to me. Just saying. Apparently, he was not worthy. <laughs> Is it really bad that I really want to do the Dory voice? Like, <laughs> I want to speak whale. Claire, I know this game's not for everyone. Thank you for stopping by and for hanging around. At least one worthy of visiting. At last. At least. <laughs> Do it. At last, one worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Hop on! I'll take you <laughs> to the Dragon Palace. <laughs> Here, hear that, Ami? I'm second to none when it comes to swimming. <laughs> Try streaming and doing speaking whale <laughs> and not laughing at yourself. <laughs> Even that water dragon's no match for me. <laughs> gonna do, Ami? 
<laughs> oh, I guess you was much rejoicing. <laughs> I guess you already made your up your mind. <laughs> oh my goodness, that 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 was funny. That's funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. This is a workout. Hey, not a not very creative name. He looks kind of fishy. Unintended. Want to hitch a ride? Um, we're standing on it, aren't we? <laughs> Thanks, Lan. I appreciate you. You do? Well, I don't suppose we have much choice. Are there seatbelts on this thing? Has it been cleared by the FDA? <laughs> we might as well take advantage of him now that he's here. I'm second to none when it comes to swimming. That water dragon's no match for me. Hear that, Ami? You believe him? I'm wondering how we're going to breathe underwater. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe we should have him take us to the dragon palace. I'm afraid I can't do that yet. Huh? You must complete the final ordeal decreed by Ooh. Otto Imi? Ot O Imi? Otu Imi. Him. Only then will you be worthy of visiting the war the dragon palace. <laughs> hey, Orca, is this a auto chick? Oh, it's a chick. Whoops. You're a boss or something? She's got a lot of nerve letting the water dragon run amok. Amok, 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 amok. Homework. Listen, Orca, we want to ride down to the dragon palace. So let's hear about that ordeal you were talking about. Oh, so much talking. The entrance to the Dragon Palace is a whirlpool, but it's hidden right now to keep out the evil beings that plague this area. You must find the whirlpool amid this vast sea. That is the ordeal decreed by... Okay. Hear that, Ami? Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean... This sea is packed with places begging to be explored. We'll just have to check them out till we find that whirlpool. I mean, there was a whirlpool back there. Well, what are we waiting for? Full speed ahead, fish breath. Oh, look, there's the water dragon. Get off Orca, no.
Okay, the the camera is a bit of a pain. Just saying. Like it literally keeps on going down. Ooh, hello. Oh, okay. To where like I can't see anything. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yeah, this is a real pain in the butt, honestly. Yeah, it, it kind of is because like I'm having to hold the other stick where I want the camera to be so that I can even see what's going on. Which means I can't hit the faster button at the same time. Like normally I put the, the camera somewhere and it stays, but the camera keeps on going back down. So it makes it really hard to check anything. And you would think a whirlpool would be easy to find. Okay. Maybe I just need to do this. Like, we'll just do this. And hopefully, like, the, the, we don't, like, run into the water dragon or anything. Oh. Speak of the devil. I'm glad the music is good because, you know. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like he just stopped all of a sudden. Where is the island with the tower? That seems like it might be a thing. And there's a spot over here. Let's go check out what this spot is. Where is that meowing coming from? Hmm, huh. I think it's coming from the tower. It's kind of creepy, but let's go check it out. Sure, why not? Huge creepy tower. Uh, camera mechanic being like super annoying. Why not? Let's go check it out. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get some stuff and things done. Oh. Maybe fish. Okay, happy kitties and all the praise. Woo! Lots of praise. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Please, let's save so we don't have to do whatever that was again. The Cat Call Tower. So is there going to be guys with bad pickup lines here? And there was much rejoicing. Cat Call Tower. Um, okay. This looks like a giant scratching post. Mm. Sounds like that annoying meowing's coming from the top of this tower. They look like... Hey, look at those paw prints on the wall. Isn't that the mark of... Catwalk? One of the... Oh, okay. The 13 Celestials. Brush techniques. Hey, wait. Maybe that means... Can we get another brush technique? Please. Like we, where we can walk up walls. Oh. Okay, that looks quite threatening. Okay. Oh, if I get in the middle, they bat me around. Okay, sweet. That's, that's super awesome. Be nice, Gilfoil. Aha! Okay. Okay, so I beat the thing. So, feed the cat, get the praise. I didn't do anything. What are you even talking about? You're the one who typed it. Be nice. Okay, so we have just seen your return and just because he is mean does not mean that you have to be mean in return but if he was mean he needs to be nice too although he retracted his statement you did not 
I don't even know what his statement is, by the way. It was retracted before I ever seen it. Okay, so... Those paw prints are the mark of the god of the celestial brush technique catwalk. That means, well, you know our motto, Ami, leap before you look. Okay. Well, yours was deleted anyway. Oi. Well, Y'all too with the stupid pots. Do I have to feed, like, all the cats? Is that a thing? Not exactly sure. Okay. Hey, Lan. I don't have the catwalk technique. Do I need the catwalk or is this where I get it? Okay, hold on, maybe... And there was much rejoicing. Whoop. Not exactly sure how I'm doing this, but okay. Hey, hey, what's gotten into you, Ami? You trying to get to the top of the tower or something? You are one enthusiastic furball. I mean, I mean...
Okay. Can I just like go to the top? Ooh, okay, never mind. Spider dog, spider dog does whatever a spider dog does. Can she swing from a web? No, but she can climb walls. Look out! Here comes a spider dog. So how high do I need to go? <laughs> All that for a holy bone? me a bone here, dude. Hmm. Secretly ninja. I, I guess, I guess, I guess we gotta keep going. The meowing is getting louder, though. I fell into the floating ring of fire. Went down, up, 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 and the... Flames, they got higher, maybe? Okay, this was... This was cool, and now it's starting to become a little tedious. Just throwing that out there, game. Oh, okay. Now there's more sideways stuff. Okay. It's... It's a little maze. I assume the chest will be there whenever we come back down. So I'm just going to keep going up. Positive. Ha 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 This is starting to get a little old. Like, it's cool. Okay, it found a gimmick. Fine. Aha! Okay. Is this the, the secret world pool? Oh no. Mermaid coin. Okay. Apparently that tall. So, did we find the secret whirlpool?
Well, and Ami doesn't climb near as fast as Link does. Okay, finally made it to the top, maybe? Maybe, maybe? Is there anything over here? Is there anybody out there? Can I just say how funny it is that I get the uh, memorial jewelry in today from my cat that's passed away and we learned catwalk? I'm gonna turn off my fan real quick, guys. In just a second. It's starting to get chilly. It was starting to get, starting to get a little cold. Ami, mean, look, there's a kitty cat over there. Wonder what it's doing all alone up here. Probably be uh, meowing incessantly, because that's what cats do. It couldn't have climbed all the way up by itself, could it? Sure it could. One time, whenever I was, uh, I went deer hunting, when, and this has been years ago, but, uh, I was in, uh, I was in the deer stand, and I was just sitting there, and, like, the sun was just coming up over the horizon where it was starting to get, you know, kind of light around, and, uh, I see this, like, stray cat, wandering around and I'm like oh my lord this cat's gonna gonna scare away any deer that I might possibly get um so um usually as I walk I pick up stones so that if like a squirrel or a raccoon comes around like I can throw like little pebbles at them to try and get them to run off so the cat is down on the ground down underneath me and so I took a uh, a couple of pebbles and I tossed right out over it well, well it scared the cat and it runs up the tree next to me and is sitting there like half like kind of halfway up the tree and just sitting there meow 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 and I'm like oh my god you stupid cat Go away! <laughs> so I took uh, another little pebble and I threw over at the tree. Well, it scared the cat more and it runs further up the tree. And it's going meow, 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 meow. And I'm like, so I took all the, the rest of my pebbles and just took them all and just heaved them over at the tree like, you stupid cat, go away. Instead of going down, like what would be smart, no, the cat runs further up to the tree to the very tip top of this tree and is literally holding on to the very tip-top branches and is doing this. Swaying back and forth in the very tip-top branches of this poor tree, going meow, 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 meow. I'm 
was just like, oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Like I, I was I, at that point, I just I just, I was like, okay, I just laid my gun down in the case and just started packing stuff out of the tree, out of the, the tree stand. I was like, I'm not, you know, no, nope, I'm done. <laughs> Pretty much, I was like, if I had just left the stupid cat alone, maybe it would have just walked off. <laughs> Pretty much, pretty much anime. No, it was a story about a hunting trip where a cat pretty much ended my hunting trip. <clears throat> Surely there couldn't be anything to eat all the way up here. So was our job literally to come up here to feed the cat? Yeah, that one's lo uh, that one's free on uh, for PS Plus members now, isn't it? It stopped meowing. Too bad I couldn't have done that with my uh um a constellation here. Oh, okay. So we got one there. We got one there. Got one there. And one there. Yeah, what is it? Outca uh, Outcast. Outlast 2 and uh, Niho. Niho. Kabigami? Maybe? Ah, Amateras, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. <laughs> I really want to be like, we are Siamese if you please. The swirling whirlpool of evil below has driven me to this height. From this perch, I observe the world below and its descent. Oh, is it Bay? Ka Bay Gami? My bad. Sorry, sassy pony. We are Siamese, if you don't please. We are former residents of Siam. There is no better friend than I am. You see that thing swimming round and round? Yes, perhaps we could reach it in and make it drown. <laughs> I know, Mitsu, I know. I, I, actually, I don't have my flashcard. It's o it, it's over there. And I have never met this one yet, so... Hmm. If my power is needed once again, I, Kabe Gami, God of Walls, shall gladly offer a bridge of hope to the realm below. your personal toy to be played with like that. What the heck? Wait a sec. That's... That must have been Kabe Gami, one of the 13 gods. 
You know, the one with the catwalk brush technique. I, that's kind of the, the funny thing. No, I've never heard the Hillary Duff version. And this kitty right here is a messenger of the gods. And here I thought it was just some stray cat. Okay, so now anywhere there's a cat statue... Oh, check it out! The statue started to glow. Oh, I get it. The Kabigami statue is telling you to use the catwalk power. Mommy, put your brush on the statue and draw a line up the wall. That'll let you transfer the god's catwalk power to the wall. Will you look at that, Ami? The mark of Kabigami, uh, Kabegami, has appeared on the path you. Oy. Thank you for sending me that link. Now you can climb walls anytime you want. Woo! We did things, stuff and things. Speaking of which, remember those other Kabigami statues we saw? We should try your new brush, te brush technique on them, too. Okay, what happened? One big kitty statue. This must be the top of the tower. Doesn't that wind feel great? <gasps> oh, Jesus! I thought we just jumped off the tower. <sighs> that. And I'm free! Okay, so we did the thing. We have the catwalk technique. We have a mermaid coin. To go back in here and... I guess so we don't have to climb down. We can just use the whirlpool. I love how we can't look where we're going. We have to look where we've been. <laughs> I have a small fear of heights. Yeah, I lost my fear of height. No, I take that back. I, I have a small fear. No, I, I don't have a fear of heights. I have a fear of, uh, or a fear of falling for that matter. Cause it's not the, it's not the height that kills you or the fall. It's the sudden stop. That's the part that scares me. Oh, I have six of these. Sweet.
Okay, so that's what that other... I get them both. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Good. Oh, and the cage door. That's, that's awesome. That's super awesome. I thought you were going to say it came from whenever you were in a deer stand and a cat wouldn't leave you alone. Okay, so what's this? Okay, we have exorcism slips. We have... Blacker set. This. It must be the grave of a traveler or something. I mean, why else would it be all the way out here? I don't know, but it is very odd. Very odd indeed. Okay, so... We haven't been to that house over there. Oh, and I guess there's another cat wall over on the... Okay, so let's go do that. And there's a golden pool up here. not let me re restore this area uh, probably go ahead and save just so that we don't have to do the whole cat wall thing again. Oh, wait a minute. I guess we already did that. I guess we saved up there. Oh, well. Um, where's the other... Oh, it's, is it up there? Oh, I'm a doofus. I'm a doofus. Let's go over here. Oop, deer. Deer. Speaking of deer, while we're here, let's see what this is.
This sounds like a sake house. And she's dressed up like a cat with a fish hat. What? I want you to do your schoolwork. Really, with all of those questions. In science? Yes. They were a little. Mm hmm. No problems here. Alexander, did you get all of them done? You've already said that. Did you get all of your history vocabulary done? Did you do your worksheet in your workbook? Oh, yeah. Did you read? Yes. Did you have you done your math? Then you need to go do that. Sorry. There, uh, welcome. We're happy to see anyone in here at the moment, even a dog. Wow. There just isn't any fresh fish available these days. We've hardly got any customers at all. We're all well known for our chef, Mr. Umi. Like a double pun? Well, I mean, kind of. Fresh fish dishes. I hope you'll get to try one of them. Can, can we not go past her? Okay, there we go. Oh, goodness gracious. Whatever will I do? Even I, the great chef Umi, can't cook without ingredients. So just throw a tantrum with knives. I'm at the end of my rope. He's a cat. Cyclone Chef Umi. Listen, doggy, can I bend your furry little ear? There's no good fish here lately, and I can't cook without fish. I feel like I am starting to lose my touch. I've had enough! There's gotta be something around here that'd make a good meal. Not me. Not me. Very not me. Hey, uh, what are you looking at? Hmm. No, it'd be too much effort getting off. Wow. He was totally gonna cook me. He was thinking about it. I need something, some juicy fruits of the sea to show what I can do. And they must be fresh. It's an insult to the sea and the fish if the dish goes wrong. Now, I don't know what the story is with the water dragon, but I do know that the fish I need aren't being caught. <laughs> it definitely is a cat-eat-dog world. Just watch out whenever it rains, cats and dogs, because you might step in a poodle. Listen, still, I, I've asked the fisherman. I can't do any more than that. I guess all I can do is sit tight and wait for the good news. Hmm. 
into Chow Chow Main. Maybe he could give us a few pointers. I hate to hound him for a good meal. Okay. So I did stuff and things. That must be the way out of here. More foxes. I hit it and then missed it. Oh, it really is. It's super fun, uh, Volpe. And it's only 20 bucks on Switch. Spider pup, spider pup. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Okay, so. Oh, we got another cutscene. Oh my god, this, this... Oh, we have another enemy! Okay. Flying head with wings. And a pipe, apparently. Well, it's, it is an older game. It's a, it was originally a, a PS2 game. And then it got ported to um, the Wii. And then this is the uh, HD remake on Switch. Owie, could we not? Oh. Okay. So, Watcher. Someone there? <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm guessing no one's coming. A Blinken. Did you say A Blinken? No, I said Hey Blinken. This is Watcher's Cape. 
It said the gods once used this place to return to the heavens. At night, this place offered a great view of the starry sky, even the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible from the cape's tip. Whirlpool Galaxy. It's a group of stars. They form the shape of a great spiral, like a heavenly whirlpool. But since the demon-shaped island appeared out at sea, there are more and more monsters about and the skies have dulled. I know it makes me sad, but she needs rest. The magnificent starry view can no longer be seen. You can't see the stars in the middle of the day. But when night falls, I've got a wish to make upon a shooting star. If you wish upon a star, when you wish upon a star, it always comes true. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy might appear in the sky again. She discorded me. Me! Oh, the, the Hey Blinken reference. <laughs> Did you say Abe Lincoln? I'm here in the hope that I'll be able to make a wish. But shooting stars are rare now, not like before. If only a star would shoot across the night sky, then I could make a wish upon it. If you wish... <laughs> At you. Bless you. No, dude, that's my name. No, oh, I said, hey, Blinken. Eaten by the cat. If you see, and that's funny because the main character in this, that's part of the reason why I picked up this game, because the main character in the game is voiced by Carrie Elwes, who is Robin Hood. That's... Yes. So much yes. I'm excited. Like, stupid excited for that game. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy might appear in the sky again. <laughs> My goldfish Goldie? Eaten by the cat. Why don't you stand next to me and help me look for shooting stars? Um, <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> that was easy. There, a shooting star. <laughs> Choked on the goldfish. Yes. We're men. We're men in tights. Tight tights. We run around the forest looking for fights. <clears throat> other, <laughs> yes, unlike other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. <laughs> That's why that's that's one of the reasons why I keep Snake around. He's good for stuff like that. I, I still I am looking for a, a snake command so that I whenever I have 
something that I need to do, I can just be like, Snake, are you with me? Snake! Snake! I wish that the sky was as magnificent as it was in the past, and that the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible again. Oh look! There it is! That, that, that's it! The Whirlpool Galaxy! I, my wish really did come true! Yes, that. I don't do it justice because I've, I've never played Metal Gear. And the the Metal Gears that I have are not the 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 ones that everyone likes. Cause like I have twin snakes for the GameCube. Um and then I have uh Solid Snake 3 Snake Eater for PS2, PS Dos. And then I have one of the Metal Gear Rising and I have Metal Gear 4. But yeah, I confess I've never played them. So maybe that's... Okay, so maybe we found the whirlpool. Yeah. Like, I guess it's not a terrible collection, but it's not, it's not some of the better ones <laughs> from what I've been told. Watcher's cape. When the Whirlpool Galaxy spins in the distant heavens, a whirlpool shall open up below. Ami, I have a feeling we'll be seeing that entrance real soon. Wow, check out that whirlpool of stars. It's like a huge windmill in the night sky. No worries, Patrick. It's late for you, I know. They say the Whirlpool Galaxy is the key to the Dragon Palace. So, if so, then the Whirlpool entrance should be somewhere under it. Hmm. The sea looks pretty calm to me. And the Whirlpool Galaxy isn't even swirling. What do you gotta do to make that Whirlpool entrance appear? That Whirlpool picture kind of looks like a windmill or something. Think it has something to do with the Whirlpool of Stars? Didn't we just read something about whirlpools above and below? Can we... I think you're on to something. Maybe we're supposed to blow that starry whirlpool around and around. Ow! <sighs> Try it again, Ami. Keep using the wind power of yours. Oh. Whirlpool picture kind of looks like... Yeah, we already did that. Uh, 
no, that stops it. So we have the 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 whirlpool spinning. Watcher's cape. When the whirlpool galaxy spins in the distant heavens, a whirlpool shall open up below. Baby, like you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record player, right, right round, round. Okay, so now we need to go get the whale. I assume. Woo, there, there's water down there. Ugh, really? experience what put me you off for a long time feel like a chore what 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 are you talking about I'm so very confused of course it doesn't take much okay probably worth saving since we're right here Drakar? Drakir? I can't remember how to say your name. <sighs> oof. Much oof. Oh, bugs. Oh, you have a shark on your rear. That's nice. Basically, I was saying I'm not big. Oh, I'm Metal Gear Sol Solid, partially because backfired. Oh, okay, okay. Get out of my way, piggies, before I make you into bacon. Ride Orca. We've already been through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi ho, Orca! Away! Okay. So now we know where we need to go. It's funny though, now the camera is doing what it's supposed to do. So maybe it was just a f weird way the, of the game trying to tell me that I didn't need to do this yet. Making it extra hard.
Okay, so wait a minute. Can we not do it from here? Or maybe we have to be faster? Maybe we have to get all of that done a lot faster? Oh, now it's nighttime. Okay, fine. Entrance to the Dragon Palace is a whirlpool, but it's hidden. Okay. Where is... Do we have to go through all of that again? Yeah, it's completely black sky. Okay, so uh, I guess we have to go through all of that again, which is kind of a pain in the butt, honestly. What is the cat doing? No, get him out of there. And it doesn't need to be in there. Okay. Can you be careful, please? Okay, no, see, there's the, the galaxy. We can see the galaxy from up here. So do we just like jump off from here? I thought Orca was supposed to take us. It's spinning up now it's daylight ah this is going to be a pain in the butt okay there's spinning galaxy Can we just like call to Orca? Like it said, if there's a spinning a galaxy above, there would be one below. Is Orca still here? I bet it's not. No, Orca's back over there. Oh. Of course it is.
I mean, I can try. Except I think Orca is the one that's supposed to take us. I thought that was part of the thing. That's why I didn't try jumping in the water. I thought that was his spiel, is that he was supposed to take us to the... And water bad for sun, fire, god, whatever we are. See, from down here, we can't see anything, though. It's only from up there. Hmm, so, like, do we just... What is it that I'm missing? Like, at this point, the we figured out the whole whirlpool in the sky, and, you know, the the stone told us that if there's, uh, you spin the whirlpool in the, the, the whirlpool galaxy, that there one will appear below, but from the water, we can't see anything. And suppose, I thought Orca was supposed to be the one that was supposed to take us. But by the time we get over, you know, is it just a we're not getting over to Orca in time? Like, what, what's the series of events that needs to happen? Try this again. So turn it night. <laughs> oh, Cammy. Yes, right on Orca. The entrance to the Dragon Palace is a whirlpool, but it's hidden. Right now, to keep out the evil beings that plague this area, you must find the whirlpool amid this vast sea. That is the ordeal decreed by that person. I hold Orca away.
Okay, so... Would it be out this far? Like we've hit black black sky again. Oh geez. There's water dragon. Can we just like go for the island? I'm very confused. Okay, can't go any further. Hmm. This one has a pier. This one is not high enough to... Holy bone, that's not super helpful. <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, if anybody knows, I'm kind of over this whole puzzle. be kind of honest what is it that we're missing well somebody can look it up at this point because like I said I'm kind of over this whole thing like I would really just love to move on Like, let's maybe we can just pick a fight with the dragon. Come here. Can we just pick a fight with you? Maybe that's what it is. I like, it's the only thing I haven't tried. Come here. Upgrade the wind brush technique. What? Oh my gosh, Chrissy. Hold on. Okay. The left until you meet. Some bully kids. 
We did the Watcher's Cape. Um, sit next to him. Thought in the sky. Now the Whirlpool Galaxy is back. Run to the end of the cape and stand on the pedestal. Use the Gale Storm to spin the cape. Oh, the Whirlpool Galaxy counterclockwise. Oh, so we have to get it spinning faster. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. Go read a book. I've done most of it. I just, apparently I didn't have the galaxy spinning fast enough. Apparently that's what it is. Okay, let's get this done. Okay. here Get back down here make it night No, that's clockwise. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, apparently that's what I needed to do. Okay, fine, fine, fine. to the ship but like we have to we have to bring the um the the fish back to him um it's about time we got down to the dragon palace teach those dragonians a lesson they're going to pay for not keeping the water dragon on a leash. Now, I think that oh, the the upgrading the, the brush technique, I think that may be afterward because he had already mentioned something about uh, um, about bringing him back fish. But we have to get uh, we have to do the whole I think we have to figure out the whole dragon thing first. Okay, now get over here and get on the, the stupid fish.
Yes, right, Orca? Take me to the whirlpool. Okay. Final freaky deagle. We'd already done everything, but apparently we just weren't spinning that galaxy fast enough. That's what we were missing. Was spinning the galaxy faster. We made it! Through that whirlpool, down to the bottom of, down to the beautiful briny sea, bobbing along, bobbing along along the bottom of the beautiful briny sea. What a chance to get a better peek at the plants and fishes of the sea. Something like that. This must be. <clears throat> This must be the Dragon Palace in the Kingdom of the Dragonians, their leader, blah, blah, blah. You did good, Snake. No worries. We better not let our guard down. Can we just hit a save point? That's what I want right now. save point. That's all I want. Yes. Thank God. That being said, would anybody like to go on a raid? <laughs> hey, Shaninator! No worries. Oh, let's hit this. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. This game has a way of bringing out the best in you. <laughs> Um, you know what? I know where I'm going to end up later. So let's just go there because, yeah, there, he's playing one of my favorite games. I love this game. So let's do this. Y'all know where we're going. Playing my, like, my, one of my favorite Zelda games. Thank you all so much for being here, for watching me derp. As always, you guys are amazing. There's the link. We're going to go visit Monster Matt. He's playing Minish Cap, um, which I absolutely adore. Love Minish Cap so much. Uh, please try and stay three to five minutes. Although over on his channel, I don't think that y'all will have trouble there because most of y'all know him real well. He's an awesome streamer. He's family friendly. He's one of my best friends. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys over there for the raid and back here tomorrow, possibly for this, maybe for some Okami. We will see. Um... Okay, we can do that. No worries, Snake. But until then, till tomorrow, guys.